You don't know a man until you walk a mile in his shoes. I learn more about me every day. With every mile. My past is just that. My story is being written one step at a time. My future is decided by the roads that I take. I'm bound for a new adventure. Where I'm going, there is gold. There is glory. Because for me, all roads lead to... Bound for glory. And I am shutting Bound for Glory down! And there is not a damn person who can stop me! Wrestling has more than one royal family. For the first time in his career, Cody is standing in the impact zone. His DNA built a legacy, and he's not alone. All roads, including wife Brandy, lead to Bound for Glory. Look at this, he is here. They are here. Cody and Brandy Rose are entering the sixth out of ring for the first time. And the night just got worse for the Miracle Mike Bennett. Maria. changer I believe that's the sentiment used to describe my arrival at impact wrestling but and honestly I mean game changer it's very it's very flattering but I don't know how accurate it is perhaps a more accurate description is maybe Maybe the game is just changing in general. Take a look at Bound for Glory. Gail Kim. Gail Kim, a TNA knockout, inducted in the Hall of Fame, first time ever. And in the 40-something years that my family has been involved with pro wrestling, there has never been anything like the Great War. And that brings me to my current circumstances, perhaps why I am a game changer. Is it the fact that I didn't wait to be kicked out of my former house, I left on my own? And my guiding light. My guiding light in the darkness is sitting right here. It is sitting in my pocket. It's the list. 
So how apropos at Bound for Glory, I found myself standing toe to toe with the miracle Mike Bennett. Well, guess what? My lovely wife, Brandy. And, and not, not just Brandy, let me get this across. My lovely wife, Brandy Rhodes, has just reminded me that perhaps I was remiss. Perhaps I should have never put Mike on the list. Perhaps instead I should have put TNA World Heavyweight Championship. I like that guy. <laughs> and Impact Wrestling has indeed given me a shot at the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Folks, that's the Queen's Jewels. That's the Master Sword. That's the Oscar. If you ask any wrestler, whether it's in a six-sided ring or a four-sided ring, if they want to be the World Heavyweight Champion, if they tell you anything but yes, they are lying through their teeth. I want to be the World Heavyweight Champion. And it is an honor. It is a privilege. It really is the opportunity of a lifetime. Mike Bennett and his wife Maria didn't have a great night Sunday at Bound for Glory. Maria lost the knockouts championship to Gail Kim. The miracle came up short against Moose. And now they will join Cody and Brandy Rhodes inside the six-sided ring here on Impact. We get to sit back and watch this exchange. Oh boy. Fireworks are gonna fly. Sweetie. Enough. 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 Are you done? Thank you. You guys aren't done, right? Enough! Enough of this! Look! It's Cody and Brandy Rhodes! Yippee! Oh, what's the matter? Are you upset that I'm interrupting you? I'm just returning the... Shut up! I'm just returning the favor from last night. You see, Cody, when I came here, I wasn't handed anything. I told each and every one of these people here and everyone in the back that I deserve a title shot. And you know what they said to me? They said, Mike, that's not how TNA works. You have to earn a title shot. funny you see that's the problem it's all fun and games i had to earn title shots i was told i didn't deserve it not until you fight for oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. fight Wh what you said fight we should fight oh, oh, oh. 
no, 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 hold on, hold on. You misinterpreted what I said before you so rudely inter- Oh! Tony's heard enough! Double rape by the miracle and it's on! And Tony hit by Benny! Exploding here on impact! Oh! Big shot! Benny misses! Looking for crossroads! Looking for crossroads! Benny just did the best thing he's ever done, and that was escape that six-sided ring. Get out of Dodge! I was going to wait until my title shot, but no, in fact, I want my first match next week to be against the miracle Mike Bennett. Back inside the ring with this big top rope superplex! Now, from the top! Both men crashing down. Who took the worst of that? We'll see if Cody can get in position here to go for a cover on the miracle. Hard landing. Instead, Cody, he's looking for the submission maneuver. He's looking for the American nightmare. There's Maria again. Cody again slightly distracted, much like he was earlier in the match when the Miracle was able to hit that Hangman's DDT on the outside. Yeah, that was the turning point of this matchup. Maria's paying dividends here. The Miracle Mike Bennett in a slugfest. Both men going at it, going at it. Miracle fires away. Not sure who got the best of that exchange. Cody ducks. Cody got him. He's got the Miracle hooked. Crossroads! Look at that! Bennett down! And Cody is victorious! The winner of the match, Cody! A solid victory for Cody inside the six-sided ring. And now a celebration for Cody and his wife, Brandy Rhodes. Cody outlasted the miracle. Maria tried to distract Cody yet again, but it didn't work. Cody was able to regain his composure and catch the miracle unexpectedly with that crossroads maneuver. There was two moments in this match where Maria paid off, but Cody was able to outlast and outmaneuver the miracle Mike Bennett here and a victory for Cody with the crossroads against Mike Bennett. Hey. Is this guy going to be okay? Yeah, 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 we're all right. Right? Dude, I'm good. This I'm is, good. This is not particularly how I want to do this whole thing. <laughs> it's all right, bro. I'm, you hear what I said? I heard every word, actually. Uh, I'm a fighting champ. Hell yeah, man. Uh, whether I'm hurt or not, I, I'm ready. I'll be good to go, man. 14 years. 14, 14, 14 years, years your journey brings you here, and now you're the world heavyweight champion. My That's journey. feel like gold. Just like gold. My journey brought me here, and I know, I know what you're trying to accomplish. I respect that. I respect sure. you, what you're doing. I respect that. I respect that you're trying to become you the world. This, you want to push this thing off? No, a bit? no. You want to be world heavyweight champion. I want to give you that opportunity. I'm a fighting champion, bro. I appreciate you and what you're doing. I think you have literally defined anything can happen on any given night. Mister, anything can happen. That's me. And uh, yeah, well, just remember, anything can happen on any given night. Hey, if you're ready to do this, I'm ready to do this, bro. Oh yeah, Let's we're do gonna it. do it. Oh yeah, man. Take care of this guy, please. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know if most of y'all know this or not. Uh, I'm from little town Marietta, Georgia. I'm a big fan of big fan of country music. There's this song. It's called "The Night Hank Williams Came to Town," and the reason I've been thinking about it is because tonight, well, tonight is something significant. I said not too long ago that I left my former employer not because of the money, but because of the moments, the moments I wanted. Tonight, tonight is one of those moments. Tonight, I get the opportunity to compete for the World Heavyweight Championship. So let me tell you this little story about 15-year-old me. Cody, 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 
Thank you. 15-year-old me, and I'm riding with my hero in life. I'm riding with my... the most favorite person I can possibly ever, ever have. My father, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. And I'm 15, right? I'm 15, and I'm about to break the news. I'm about to break the news to him that I want to enter his vocation. I want to become a pro wrestler. And I finally lean over to him. We're riding in his truck. And I said, hey, Dad, I think, uh, I, think I could do this wrestling thing. And he got quiet. And it got so tense and so scary. And then he leaned over to me and he said, okay, but only if you're the best. And I don't care if it is a four-sided ring or a six-sided ring. I don't give a damn. Being the best means being the world heavyweight champion. So tonight, I make this promise to you. I will become the world heavyweight champion. Passionate words from Cody. But if he wants to become the world heavyweight champion, if he wants to become the best in our six-sided ring, he's going to have to get past the new world champion. Cody is going to have to defeat Eddie Edwards tonight. Certainly, that's not an easy task for anyone to do, to just walk in the six-sided ring and think you're going to take out Eddie Edwards. That remains to be seen. The world championship is on the line later tonight, but right now, champion and challenger inside the six-sided ring. Eddie a little taken aback here. Cody, I respect you. Everybody in the back, the people here, they all respect you. We respect you. We respect your journey. We respect your legacy. The choices that you've had to make to be here tonight, we know they weren't easy. And we respect the hell out of you for that. You have always found a way to reinvent yourself. You adapt, you set goals, you chase them, and now you who you are. You are who you want to be right here at Impact Wrestling. That's the great thing about this place. They embrace you for who you are. They embrace me for who I am. Eddie Edwards, they embrace me for that. When I'm in this ring and I'm getting my ass kicked and I can't, I don't know how to take it to the next level. I don't know how to flip that switch, but then I listen and I hear Wolves Nation and they chant Eddie. They chant Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. They chant Eddie for me. They know who I am. I know who I am. My question to you is, do you truly know who you are, Cody? Do I know who I am? Hmm. I mean, where do I begin? I guess I'm the... Brandy Rhodes, thrilling, giant, killing, mustaching, formally dashing, impact crashing, Cody. But I could stand out here and pontificate longer. I could simply say, you'll know exactly who I am when I beat you for this title tonight. When, when, you say when, I say if. I am the world heavyweight champion for a reason. I beat Lashley, the man that everybody said could not be beat. I did it. And I know, I know some people, including you, 
think that it was luck. But I'm here to prove that luck had nothing to do with it. I'm here to prove that, much like you, I was born to be a professional wrestler. I truly believe that. That was my calling. I'm here to prove that it was skill. I'm here to prove that I am a worthy world champion. And tonight, tonight, if by beating you helps prove that, well, Cody, I'm sorry, but you are going to lose. Well, the talking is over now between Eddie Edwards and, well, this is the music of the former world champion, human kryptonite, the unstoppable juggernaut of force. You knew that Lashley wasn't just going to go quietly into the night. Lashley wants what's in the hands of Eddie Edwards. Lashley has a match against Moose tonight. The winner becomes the number one contender for the world's championship. Look what I see here. I see the future. The future headline. And no, it's not the match between you and him. That's not the future. What the future is, is Lashley destroying whichever one of you chunks come out winning that title. That's what the headline's gonna read. Because it doesn't matter your match tonight. What it matters is whoever wins that match will get destroyed like me. Because neither one of you guys are real, and neither one of you guys are a real fighter. So I'm gonna let you guys know, whoever stands in my way will get hurt. Remember. From Boston Mass up on the top right now, he rolls through, trying to continue the momentum that he started moments ago here against Cody. Cody has to find a way to slow him down. Look at this. Cody trying to get all of that Edwards here. Look at the power. He's got him. Oh! Muscle Buster by Cody. Cody with the cover. No champion, no champion. And then he kicks out at two. Woo! So many here thought it was over. What a match. Cody keeps his eyes on his opponent, keeps his eyes on Eddie Edwards. All the while, his head's got to be spinning. What do I have to do next? Well, it appears that he's calling for the American Nightmare. The signature submission maneuver of Cody and Eddie quickly fights free. Cody right back up. Come on! Come on! Starting to be shown here by Cody and Eddie trying to match that level of aggression. Punch after punch, forearm shot after forearm shot. Now Sewer chops there by Eddie Edwards. Look at the chest of Cody. Nice move there. It's Eddie in position, but this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous for both champion and challenger. You can see Eddie trying to hook the leg of Cody, trying to slow him down. This could be big. Here Josh. we go. Cody's got Eddie up on the top rope, looking for a big time top rope superplex. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's got a trip. Eddie's got a trip. Eddie wins. Eddie retains the championship. How smart! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still TNA World Champion Eddie Edwards. How smart was Eddie Edwards to create offense out of defense, to grab his legs and hook Cody and keep his shoulders to the mat for three seconds? A true champion and a pro champion is Eddie Edwards. And smart and intelligent. And look at this as Cody went for the superplex off the top rope, delivered Steel's momentum, but then Eddie Edwards hooks the legs, traps the body of Cody, and Eddie retains the world championship. What a win tonight for Eddie Edwards. This match started with a handshake between champion and challenger. Two men who have never met before. Two men going one-on-one -on -one here tonight for the first time ever. 
two of the best of their generation. And Cody, he's going to swallow his pride a bit. I know Cody very well. He, it took him a second to say, okay, I need to calm down. I'll be here again. I'll have other opportunities at the world title. And he raised the hand of the world champion, the ultimate show and ultimate sign of respect from not only Cody, but from Eddie as well. Eddie is leaving the ring. He is letting Cody have this moment here with the fans in the impact zone. Well, if there's any one man that Cody can certainly learn from and follow in the footsteps, it's definitely the world champion, Eddie Edwards. And here's the wife of Cody Brandy. And what the hell is she doing here? What the hell is this? Come on now. I've lost track of how many shows she's ruined. How many moments? <laughs> and of course, behind her, her husband, who let his wife come out here and do the dirty work. Cody's asking for somebody to come out here and help his wife, Brandy. She's down. We are the power couple. A is planned by Maria and her bastard husband, Mike Bennett. Cody, Cody trying to stand his feet. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. The road's Owen. Cody was trying to make the tag to Brandy. Mike Bennett countered, and now Cody. Ooh, collision in the center of the ring. I believe they butted heads. Maria's doing, look at Maria. Look at Maria. Hey, trying to fool everybody. Well, Brandy is focused on her husband, Cody. Yeah, Brandy wants to make the tag. She wants to get in this match immediately. But look at Maria. Maria's not going to let that happen, and Maria picks the legs of Brandy off the apron. Cody won't be able to make the tag. Brandy won't be able to legally get involved in this match. So that leaves Cody still in the ring with the miracle Mike Bennett. It is a great game plan that's been drawn up by the miracle and Maria. All this done to keep Maria out of action. Well, yeah, yeah. Get in the head and take Cody's thinking. Keep order here. Oh, Miranda's low below, but she caught the miracle. Well, I think the game plan has just changed. Brandy's back up on the apron. Here comes Cody. Can he make the tag? Dives in, and here comes Brandy Rhodes, unbeknownst to Maria. Yes, and this is what Brandy's been waiting for for years to compete inside the ring to show her athleticism, to show what she can do. She's not worried about showing much. She just wants to get her hands on Maria. Brandy in hot pursuit. Maria runs into Cody. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. She's sorry. She'll be sorry, all right. And here comes Brandy. Brandy Rhodes with the clothesline. Taking down Maria. Maria ducks, and now Maria will be forced to compete here. And a jump to hold takes up the miracle again. It's quickly gone bad for the Bennett's. And now Brandy. Nice move there. What a maneuver. Cover. No. Brandy going to inflict more offense. Now a submission maneuver by Brandy. And the American Nightmare by Cody. Cody's got the miracle. Maria is locked up courtesy of Brandy Rhodes. The Bennett's have locked eyes, and Maria may be forced to tap out. They both tapped out. What a victory for the Rhodes. The winners of the match, the team of Cody and Brandy Rhodes. That's how you win a mixed tag team match. Definitively. And now the miracle and Maria will get out of the ring, will slither out of the impact zone. And a great moment for Cody and Brandy Rhodes. A victory here on Impact on Pop. Cody and Brandy Rhodes have just made their case to be the first couple of professional wrestlers. Let's take a look at this matchup. It was a great game plan drawn up from the beginning by the Bennett's. 
They kept Maria out of action. They double teamed Cody. They didn't allow for Brandy Rhodes to get involved in this match. But one way or another, she was going to get involved. She was going to show the world and the fans what she could do. Once she did, there was no stopping Brandy and the Rhodes family victorious here on Impact. Brandy locked in a submission. Cody locked in the American Nightmare. And it was just a matter of time before the Bennett family tapped out. Their favorite holiday is Halloween. They can celebrate now knowing that they defeated the Miracle Mike Bennett and Maria here on Impact on Pop. What a scene, what a night for Cody and Brandy Rose. What does the future hold for Cody and Brandy? All smiles here tonight. Nobody comes into my house without my permission. And he's gonna go for a big power bomb here. The exclamation! Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh boy! A one-arm power bomb throw over the top rope. Crazy Steve he goes crashing into the master. And there's Rosemary from behind, and it's breaking down here in this mixed tag team matchup. The fans want Brandy Rhodes in. And here she comes! Oh, there goes Rosemary! Get your son, Brandy! Brandy's been waiting. She's been jumping up and down on the apron, trying to get involved in this matchup. We know she's been training every week. Hey, she just said, Minnie Moose. She's been training, and at this point, you know, while she may lack a little bit of experience, she's fighting with emotion right now. There's something to be said about a woman who's fighting with emotion. Could be very dangerous for Rosemary. Brandy, listen to this place. Off the second with a missile drop kick. Nice move by Brandy. And she yelled again from the second turnbuckle. Mini moves. She's loving this. Brandy saying she's got this. She's ready. And here we go. All four competitors. Oh boy. Moose and Mini Moose. Take out Decay, cover Crazy Steve down, and what a win! The winners of the match, the team of Brandy Rhodes and Moose! What a team! Brandy Rhodes and Moose, victorious! These guys look great together! We saw Brandy look better than she ever has here in the Impact Zone. And the friendship that Brandy has created here with Moose may give her the confidence to excel and soar to all new levels. A big time win for Moose and Mini Moose on Impact. Did you see him out there? I was doing the Moose thing. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh, I can't believe it. We told them. We told them we had them. And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. No problem. You have my number. You know how to get in contact with me. If anybody messes with you, just hit me up and I got your back. I might be Big Moose around here, but you're definitely Mini Moose. Good job tonight. Mini Moose. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I've been everywhere. I've been in AT&T Stadium, Hammerstein Ballroom, the Tokyo Dome. And now I'm back here at Impact Wrestling. My experience here last time, it was, it was cut short by Bobby Lashley. I know Mr. Lashley, he's back there now. He's 
huffing and puffing and sweating and watching the monitor. Well, fear not. Tonight isn't about Bobby Lashley. I'm actually here because of the lovely, exquisite Brandy Rhodes. Or, as I hear in some circles, now being referred to as Mini Moose. Well, I, I came all the way here. We got all dressed up. I just need you to know. I am so very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Honey, you don't know what that means to me. I've been spending all of my time chasing after you, trying to impress you. Meanwhile, living my dream a little bit. And see, coming here to Impact Wrestling, it's a dream come true to me because a lot of people didn't know I've always wanted to wrestle. So now here I am, learning with some of the best, getting a little bit better day by day, and that's all because of you. So thank you. And last week I was able to do something I thought I'd never be able to do, which is stand up to decay. And that is because of that cool tag team partner that I found. I know the, the pressures that come with having a uh, my last name, our last name. And I know you're out here talking about improvement, but to me, you're already perfect. <laughs> We're the worst. <laughs> so let's, 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 let's keep the party rolling. I mean, everyone knows who we're talking about. Right? This job, it takes you away from your loved ones more often than not. And in my absence, the man who stood up to decay with you, absolutely. I want him out here right now. I want to thank him personally. Please give me Moose. from the National Football League. The man who was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. He watched the backs of some amazing quarterbacks, and now he's watching the back of Brandy Rose. Well, it tells you right there that Moose is a stand-up type of guy. Someone had to do it. It might as well have been him, and he came out. He stood up with Brandy, had her back, and they went on to do some great stuff. Cody would send out a tweet last week that said, this is actually happening. I 100% approve. Hashtag Mini Moose. Moose. Moose, from myself, from my wife, from my brother, from my mother, from my sister, from all the roads, you are one of us. Thank you very much. You know what, Cody? I'll tell you exactly what I said to Brandy last week. You have my number. She has my number. If you guys ever need anything, I got your back. Yeah. 
you, uh, you have his number? Cody, Cody, you taking it the wrong... Oh, 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 okay. Oh. So it's it's wrestling business relationship 101. You guys are on the same show. Uh, I'm gone. You train together. You team together. What's next? Are you gonna sleep together? Cody, Cody, Cody. You're looking at this the wrong way. We all know you're busy going all around the world, and she's here. The K messed with her last week. And I did, I did, I did what I had to do as a friend. That's what friends are for, right? You're not a friend. You are a perfidious slut. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You're joking, right? You've got to be joking, right? Because my husband would not come out in front of all these people at this new place I work at and embarrass me like that. So this is a joke, right? Please, tell me it's a, it's a joke, right? Tell me it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm joking, everybody. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm, I'm joking. I, I'm joking. Perhaps it was in bad taste. I'm joking. Okay. Joke. Joke. That's the kind of man Cody is. Oh! A low blow to Moose. Joking, Cody Rhodes and Cody all over Moose. Is this really happening? Because of a friendship that Brandy had with Moose. Cody's lost it. It's a joke, right? It's a joke. Moose had the back of Brandy, and now Crossroads from the American Nightmare. Wow, this thing escalated very quickly. Oh, look at that. Cody runs in certain circles. Yeah, Cody has been all over the world, we know that. He has been inspired by his father, who chose to be a dream for many. But Cody has become a nightmare, and Moose is going to live this nightmare for some time. But all Moose did was come out and help Brandy Rhodes. Moose was being a friend. Cody jumped to conclusions. And Cody, I mean, he asked a very vile question. He said, what are you gonna do next? You're gonna sleep together? Uh, I mean, to, to accuse Moose of that when he was just being a friend is kind of outlandish. Cody, I'll be very honest with you. I don't care what club you're a part of. I don't care that you're the grandson of a plumber. I don't care that you're the star who left them in the dust. I don't care that you call yourself the American Nightmare. For all I care, you can stick a brown paper bag over your head. Because in my book, you're still a big old ugly bitch. Some strong words from Moose, knowing that Cody's not here tonight. Knowing that Cody's not welcome. I don't think it will make a difference. Moose don't buy this time for no one. And Cody, I swear, when I get my hands on you, you're going to regret the day you decided to mess with. Again, strong words for Moose here. And the man is 6'7", 299. I get that. But Cody's not here to defend himself. Cody's not. I can say anything I want about anybody. I can tell you right now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's Cody. There Cody is here. And Cody from behind. Cody again going after Moose. This is why Moose didn't need to get involved in Rhodes' family business. I had no idea that Cody was even in the building. 
and Cody is here in the impact zone in Orlando, trying to get his house in order after Moose got fouled in, in Cody and Brandy's lives. And now here comes security. Again, Cody not, uh, not supposed to be here, not perhaps welcome here. Cody's laying out the security. That's gonna take more than these two to, to stop Cody and Moose. Oh boy. And Moose with a oh running power bomb. Goodness. Over the top rope and Moose is free. And Moose from behind attack Cody. From behind, what are you talking about? Oh, Moose flies over the top rope and again continues this attack. On Cody. Security was out here and had it broken apart. Moose from behind went back after Cody. Now that these two are going at it too full of the woods. Just happen it out, you let them go. I don't know what the Woods have anything to do with this saga and this battle and this rivalry between Cody and, and Moose. There you see Pat Kenny out here. And more security getting thrown around by Moose. Moose is not done. We're going to need an army. Oh, my. Moose wants him some Cody, and he's getting him some. Get you some, Daddy. Producers and agents and referees and security trying to get these two apart here comes impact stars there's yeah. andrew everett and robbie e well we're gonna need five robbie e's jesse goddard's as well and here comes here comes cody again this is anarchy and bedlam and chaos oh, well, they're right out here in front of us I, I, I'm, a, we get off head, I, I'm gonna get off headset yeah. i hear you on Twitter. Well, fans, listen, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We're going to try to get order restored here. We got the Hardys coming up next. DCC, Jesse Goddard. I mean, just so much going on. Stay tuned for the hot action here at Impact. I'm going to go check on Josh. Cody Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, we can officially start the show. The American Nightmare is in the Impact Zone. Another star who's making things great. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the audience. Who wants to see myself versus Moose tonight? Right? Moose, 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 Moose. I'll fight him right now. I'll fight. You guys want me to fight him right now? Come on. Strong words. Ridiculous. I'll tell you what, guess what? Coming up next, a brand new tag team is hitting the scene here, and that's just the first of many surprises that you don't even know about. Cody's calling out Moose. Cody wants Moose right now. Cody is calling out Moose. Where is he? All right, well, Cody's out here. Where, oh, where is Moose? Uh, Cody, which one? Cody, you know Moose is in Japan right now. You know this. Uh, we talked about it backstage earlier. What are you doing? 
Josh, who is this stooge? Exactly my point. I have no idea why he's even out here. You want to know where Moose is? Somebody here tell me where Moose is. Each and every one of you are guilty. I'm going to throw my GFW Next Gen title in the ring, and I am going to wait on that big dumbass Moose right now. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. You're not taller than me. You're not going to win a fight. Don't even think about it. I'm not leaving until Moose shows up. Huh? Matthews, Moose. Huh? No. Moose. You. Where's Moose? You know where Moose is, Cody. Where's Moose? He's in Japan, Don't make Daddy. You know that. The American Nightmare. Cody says he's not I, leaving this until is Moose. This Whoa, is a, where's this Moose? Is a, where, he knows exactly yeah. where Moose is. Accept the challenge of your Moose. This is grandstanding. This is preposterous. Yeah. This is ridiculous. No, Cody wants to fight against Moose. Oh. Of course he does, but this is all grandstanding. Nothing more. What is he, he doing now? He came out here and called out Moose. How is it grandstanding? He challenged the man to a fight. Where, uh, where's Moose? Where's Moose to accept this challenge? Well, certainly you can't accept where this challenge. Where is he? He's in Japan. That's really? where he is. Is he, is he in Japan? Yeah. Jimmy? Is he? Yeah. Well, I gotta say, this ain't no ice skating, Daddy. This ain't no figure skating. You in the middle whoa, whoa, of the whoa, six. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's, Co there's Cody with, with his Global Force Wrestling Next Gen Championship. What's Cody doing out here? Cody obviously perhaps uh, wants to watch his, his wife compete in her first ever singles match. L listen. This match is not going to happen. No, 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 no. Randy, I know you are ready, but Impact is no longer going to pimp out the road's name on its terms. They're going to do it on mine. Can you hold this? Earl, please hold this. Please, please, on, I mean, please just hold this. Listen, listen, what, what, what's your name? Casey Quinn. Okay, how about it for Casey, right? <laughs> listen, here's $45. It's $20 more than they were going to pay you. <laughs> you don't want it? All I'm saying is, is they've seen you. Uh, thank you for coming. Maybe go stand in the corner. Okay, all right, all right. Hey, baby, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'll take that back, girl. What are you doing? Do you guys know what excuses are? Excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. And guess who is all about excuses? Moose. No. Moose claims that he's in Japan. Guess what? I am Japan. It's true. The man's there all the time. All the time, Pope. I mean, as an audience, you guys are just too sweet. I'll tell you what Moose is. Moose is a little man. And as Brandy Rhodes can attest to, I'm the biggest man. So I'm gonna double down on this little engagement. I want you right here, Moose, and I want you for the Impact Grand Championship. And the mic dropped by Cody, and he's gonna force Brandy Rhodes to leave the ring right now. No one's gonna pimp the Rhodes family name anymore. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. She got dressed to come out here to wrestle. She's got an opponent waiting for her, and Cody thinks he can just come out here and stop this match? Yeah, I mean, it I don't get it. Uh, Brandy's been looking for it. And look at Brandy's apologizing. For quite She's having time. to apologize for this guy. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But no, Brandy no. is listening to her husband. It's a smart move. Come on. It's Cody and Brandy Rhodes. All right. Stay right here. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I promise.
Cody just said he's not going to do anything stupid, but Cody's not scheduled to be here tonight. Cody's got a bone to pick and an issue with Moose. He's been calling out Moose for weeks. He's headed this direction. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the entrance. Yep. And, and with a steel chair in hand. And, and from behind, he just cracks Moose. That's Moose. Moose was getting ready for, for to make his entrance into the impact zone, and Cody just clocked him with the steel chair. And Cody continues the onslaught here. Cody has been waiting and biding his time. And as Moose was getting ready to defend his title, as Moose was getting ready to face Eli Drake, Cody pounced. No, no, no. Crossroads. Speaks volumes. This all started because Moose was friends with Brandy Rhodes. Moose helped Brandy Rhodes in a situation. And now Cody holding up the Impact Grand Championship. There's no way Moose is going to be able to defend his title here tonight against Eli Drake. A blindsided attack from Cody. Moose should have seen this coming. Moose should have seen this coming. How could you see this coming? The guy, guy just literally got out of that limousine. Because for two weeks in a row, Cody has been calling out Moose, looking for Moose. Moose was, you know, he, he flew all the way to Japan to hide from Cody. Oh, come on, Josh. Are you serious? You know good and well Moose was over in Japan competing for Noah. Cody comes out here, calls him out, knowing good and well that Moose didn't come out here and answer the challenge. Well, Cody was here last week. He stopped his wife, Randy Rhodes, from competing as he called out Moose. Moose was nowhere to be found. You guys say he was in Japan. Show me some pictures. Show me on social media where this guy was in Japan. Moose now, wants to go to the ring. He's, he wants to compete tonight. Now, I think he doesn't know where he is. He thinks he's heading to the locker room. Moose does not want to compete tonight. Moose is out on his feet, and Cody was able to strike and take it to Moose here tonight. Keep your head on a swivel, kid. Through that elbow, a disaster kick from Cody. He caught him. He caught him. What a back and forth third and final round. You have to wonder what the judges are thinking at this point. Forget the judges. If Cody can cover Moose at this point in time, he can take the grand championship. The judge that was kicked by Cody, he's back receiving medical attention. But Cody needs to go for the cover, try to win this match. Bruce Pritchard sitting in as the third judge. If it goes to the judges at this point in the matchup, and we are in the final moments, what way will they go? Cody, Cody has got to win. He won round number one, in my opinion, and the dumb judges gave it to Moose. Certainly, it's a toss-up right now. Oh. And we got a little oh. dueling back and forth action between the two. Pivotal round number three with 60 seconds to go. Look at the intensity in the eyes of these two competitors. Oh, boy, we got a body brook going on. Moose tries to go low, tries to take down Cody, and Cody able to turn things around. Now Cody trying to escape, gives up his back to Moose. And Trayton blows here the final moments of this Impact Grand Championship match. Oh! They're getting tired. They're fighting with everything they have down to the final moments. 30, 30. seconds. Fatigue has set in for these two competitors. Moose is down. Cody's down. Can either man answer the count? And if they don't, who won this round? It was pretty much even. One big move. Who has one big move? The disaster kick was the one big move. With 10 seconds to go, you have to look at that disaster kick from Cody as the biggest move in round number three. Five, four, three, two, one, and we've got a stalemate. This is a war. Yeah, they're still going at it. But who won? Who's the Impact Grand Champion? It's up to the judges now to decide. Pope, you've got to agree with me. You have to, as JB's in the ring right now, Cody's the Impact Grand Champion. This one is too close to call, Josh. We're just gonna have to wait to hear what the judges decided. They can the go either the way. the judges know? More than you and I sitting here at ringside. We've been in the ring. We've competed. Cody won this match. Whether we go off Pope's opinion, then Moose is the champion. You have no idea what you're talking about. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the judges' scorecards are in, and we have a split decision. The winner, and still Impact Grand Champion, Moose. It's a travesty. The Impact Grand Championship belongs to Cody. Go back and watch the match. Go back and watch. Even if you give Moose round number one, which he shouldn't have gotten, Cody won round number two and round number three. Well, when you look at it, at the end of the day, the judges are out there for a reason, and they made their decision based on what was given, and Pope stands in agrees with them. But Moose. how can you do that? How do you not have a mind of your own and say the judges got it wrong? I should be a judge. You have more credibility, and this is crazy for me to say, than these judges do. This is a travesty. Cody should be a double champion right now.